I'm in Infinity Files on your Tuesday morning as Trumpism continues to sweep across the country and with just 98 days left until the midterm elections, we are seeing the president appear in more and more states where his support should in theory help Republican candidates up and down the ballot. And we're just hours away from the president touching down at Tampa International Airport to campaign for gubernatorial candidate Ron DeSantis, who's running against Adam Putnam in the August 28th Republican primary. But with approval ratings at just over 40 percent, it's amazing that candidates still want the president to campaign with them at all. Typically, when a president is quote unquote that unpopular, local candidates kind of run for the hills. We saw that in 2008, right after the financial crisis, when President Bush had the lowest approval ratings of any president in modern history. He spent a lot of time at the White House and not a lot of time campaigning in local races. The same was true in 2000. A post Monica Lewinsky, Bill Clinton wasn't really the comeback kid anymore. Al Gore, who was his vice president, also was really careful about appearing with him. He would campaign with his wife. Now to our governor. Interestingly enough, Governor Rick Scott will be with the president at Tampa Bay Tech later today. I'll be there as well, but he will not be with him on stage for that rally at the fairgrounds tonight. He's apparently got another event. So this will be the president's first public visit to Tampa since getting elected, but it will be his 36th rally in a state that he won by just over 1% over Hillary Clinton in 2016, and it will be key again in 2020.